Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the bunching process of electron beam in klystron amplifier which is a continuation of the previous mathematical analysis. In this also we are going to derive different types of equations and finally we will calculate the drift space L1, drift space that is indicated as L or L1. <coughs> okay, um, so the, in this bunching process here this is the klystron amplifier diagram we know this and the v0 is the applied voltage v0 is the applied dc voltage between this cathode and anode and uh, capital v refers to the voltage and a small v refers to the velocity C, as discussed in the previous video okay now we are going to calculate this drift space indicated as l1 which is the distance between the two gaps we can say it is the gap a and gap b or we can say it is the distance between two cavities so buncher cavity and catcher cavity so why we need to calculate the drift space drift space is the space where the electron changes its velocity so that velocity modulation occurs okay why we are only focusing on the calculation of l1 is the velocity modulation occurs only this in this uh, in the between buncher cavity and catcher cavity in between the buncher cavity and catcher cavity only the velocity modulation occurs that means this is the space provided for the electron to change its velocity okay so that's why we are going to concentrate on the calculation of this drift space l1 okay so we are taking this as l1 so if the drift if the distance in the drift space at which the bunching occurs from this grid is noted as l1 so this is the diagram which represents the change in the velocity of electron at different positions <coughs> okay slower means the late electron say same means the reference electron faster means the early electron so it is the late electron it is the early electron it is the reference electron and it is the late electron so early electron travels with less velocity with this velocity is less compared to the standard velocity and it goes with the standard velocity and this uh, late electron travels with the highest velocity it is greater than v0 okay in this way the different types of electrons are generated after the gap a and these three electrons are after traveling at distance l1 this is the distance from here to here it is the distance after the traveling of distance d l1 nothing but drift space it goes to the a bunching a bunch is going to be created okay remaining everything is known and the distance between these are generation of the array electron late electron and the reference electron we are taking it as pi by 2 omega on this axis of this rf signal okay now let us go to the derivation part We know that see this continuation this is the continuation for the previous mathematical analysis um, <coughs> we know that so v1 is equal to that means velocity of the electron after the application of uh, rf input voltage is, is equal to v0 into 1 plus v1 by 2 v0 sin omega t1 here these v1 and v2 these internal values are voltages and this v0 and this v1 are velocities so maximum velocity maximum velocity and minimum velocity are depending upon the phase phi uh, sorry this sign of this phase omega t1 so if omega t1 is equal to pi by 2 then it is the maximum value omega t1 is equal to minus pi by 2 then it is the minimum value that means with respect to the reference electron er we are talking on we are taking on either sides so v max is equal to v max is equal to v naught into 1 plus v1 by 2 v0 sin pi by 2 that is equal to v0 into 1 plus sin pi by 2 it is 1 so v1 by 2 v0 
this is the maximum velocity and coming to the minimum velocity minimum velocity v minimum so minimum velocity maximum velocity refers to the early electron and late electron so late, late electron travels with maximum velocity and the early electron travels with minimum velocity hope you understand from the previous waveform okay so v naught into 1 plus v1 by 2v naught sin minus pi by 2 now it becomes v naught into 1 minus v1 by 2v naught v1 by 2v naught so l1 is equal to l1 is equal to so what is l1 the distance traveled by the electron from buncher cavity to catcher cavity distance is equal to velocity into time so what is the velocity with which the electron travels normally v naught into distance travel is t naught minus t1 time time taken by the electron to travel at a different position so from t naught to t1 okay so l1 is the distance traveled by the electron which is nothing but nothing but drift space okay so the distance the distance l1 at t minus pi by 2 <coughs> At this instant, what happens? V min into V naught becomes minimum value because it is we are talking at minus pi by 2 backwards, which is early electron. So V min T1 minus T minus pi by 2. Okay, from this notation we are writing. Okay. So from the figure we can write t naught minus t minus pi by 2 is equal to pi by 2 omega. So t minus pi by 2 is equal to t naught minus pi by 2 omega. This factor we are taking it outside. Okay. So therefore L max is equal to v min into t1 minus t0 minus pi by 2 omega minus minus plus. See here why it is L max coming to this one. Here the velocity of the electron for if we are taking the early electron case early electron case if it is zero we are taking it as minus pi by 2 and we are taking it as plus pi by 2 okay so when we are talking about this early electron as it is traveling with less velocity compared to the velocity of reference electron so we are taking this as v minimum okay v minimum v minimum means early electron has the that velocity and the late electron travels with higher velocity we are taking it as v max now see the distances which distance is more early electron has to travel more distance and the late electron has to travel less distance that's why the distance associated with this one is maximum distance and the distance is minimum distance here okay okay b if velocity is minimum distance is maximum but time is constant here and here in this case for the late electron here also velocity is maximum distance is minimum but in both the cases in both the cases time is constant remember this point okay in both the cases time is constant but velocity and distances are changing okay now further we can write it as v naught okay what is v min uh, <coughs> from the previous slide v min is equal to this one okay substitute this v min here 1 minus v1 by 2 v naught into t1 minus t naught plus pi by 2 omega that is equal to see after simplification and everything i am writing directly v naught into t1 minus t naught plus 
V0 into pi by 2 omega minus V1 by 2V0 into T1 minus T0 minus V1 by 2V0 into pi by 2 omega. This is L max. Similarly, similarly at T plus 5 by 2, at T plus 5 by 2, L min we can calculate. I already explained there from the figure. So, V max, L min refers to V max T1 minus T plus 5 by 2. Okay. <coughs> so, from the figure, T plus pi by 2 minus T naught is equal to pi by 2 omega. So, T plus pi by 2 is equal to pi by 2 omega plus T naught. Okay. Everything we are writing from this uh, waveform only RF input signal. So, therefore, finally L min we can write from the previous calculation, the same V max we need to substitute here. After that, you will get V naught into T1 minus T naught minus V naught pi by 2 omega minus V1 by 2 V naught into T1 minus T naught minus V1 by 2 V0 into pi by 2 omega. So, if the distance has to be same, if the distance has to be same from three different positions, as I told, the distance must be same even the velocity and the distances are even the velocity uh, distance not in the time time actually should be same from the same uh, from three different positions three different positions what are the three different positions minus pi by 2 and at a 0 and one third one is pi by 2 so the Second terms in the L max and L min should be equated to 0. This one, this factor should be equated to 0. Okay. If, this, if that L min and L max should be same, this second term should be 0. Because the first term is there in the L max, first term is there in L min and the, the same term we have in the normal L. So, the second term... should be 0. So, if we equate that to 0, we will be having pi by 2 omega minus V1 by 2 V0 into T1 minus T0 minus V by V1 by 2 V0 pi by 2 omega is equal to 0. So, if you simplify this, we will get T1 minus T0 is equal to some pi by omega into v naught by v1 minus 1 by 2. This is after simplification. Just I am summarizing the calculation part. So, after simplification, t1 minus t naught becomes this one. But we know V1 is very, very less compared to V0. Okay, the amplitude of RF signal is very less compared to the applied DC voltage. Okay, so what we can do as it is very high, V0 is very high. So, neglect second term. So, T1 minus T0 is equal to pi by omega into v naught minus v1. 
so therefore as this is known so substitute that in the distance l1 so distance l1 now we can write it as commonly l1 because l max l1 l min all these three together same because we have equated the second term to zero so that l1 is equal to v0 into t1 minus t0 so substitute that v0 into pi by omega v0 by v1 so this is what the l1 l1 is equal to what is that finally v0 is equal to this is the velocity of standard electron they are reference electron this is voltage v0 by v1 into pi by omega okay this is the drift space from buncher cavity to catcher cavity for which the electron has to travel okay so in the next video i will explain about the expressions for the output electron output uh, power okay thank you